Bullstrode's Holiday Tours. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. When I'm down beside the sea, I'm beside myself with glee beside Keep I your glee to yourself. I still can't get used to waking up at this time of morning. Not so long ago, Bullstrode was given to the McCorban family to be their new fishing boat. Bullstrode was actually quite happy to be useful again, even if he didn't always show it. Side. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, put a sock in it, will you? Oh, I'm sorry, Bullstrode. I'm just so happy today. We're off on holiday next week. Ooh, two weeks in sunny Spain. Oh, how lovely. Oh, oh yes, it is. Arthur can't wait to go. Hey, you hear that, Arthur? Old Miss McCorbin here is take you on holiday with him. Just think, Arthur's... Big World Adventure. No, not that, Arthur. My son. Named after me, you know. Oh, really? I never have guessed. Blimey. Someone got up on the wrong side of the dock this morning. I just thought maybe I should take you with me, Bolstrode. You like a nice beach, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very funny. Right, I'll be back in a moment, Skiff. I'm just gonna buy a newspaper. Don't move. I can't, Captain Joe. You've thrown my anchor down. I'm not going anywhere. I know, Skiff. Just a little joke. Back in a sec. Oh, uh, morning, Duck. Good morning, Skiff. Hugo, watch out for Skiff, or you'll blow him away with that propeller! What was that? I am not hearing you over my propeller! Oh no! Don't worry, Skiff! I'll save you! Ryan, I think. <gasps> Skiff! I thought I told you not to move! I am so sorry, sir. I did not know Skiff was there. I was a little bit lost. I am still trying to find my way around the island, you understand. It's not your fault, Hugo. But you must learn to be more careful with that propeller of yours. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I am hoping you'll be okay, Skiff. I'm sure I will after I'm repaired. But, uh, sir, can they fix railboats at the steamworks? Victor and Kevin can fix anything. Quite right, Gilbert. But it will take some time. As you can imagine, we don't carry many spare parts for railboats. Oh no, what about the tours? It's half term next week, all the children will be coming. They'll be so disappointed, sir. Hmm. I think it'll be better if it came from me, Sir Topham. Very well. So, Bulstrode, <laughs> you know earlier when we were talking about what you should be doing while I'm on holiday next week? Yeah? Well, funny thing, funny story about that. It turns out Skiff had a bit of an accident and Sir Topham Hatt and I were just thinking... What? Nope, no way! Absolutely out of the question! There is no way you will... And what's that engine called over there? 
What do I look like, an 80s guy to Sodor's engines? <clears throat> I'm not sure, little boy. I think he might be called uh, Byron or something like that. I haven't been around the harbor for years, and he must have- Who's that one over there? She looks important. Oh, I know that one. She's Daisy, and she eats little boys. Um, uh, uh, all of them? No, just the ones that ask too many questions. Now, if everyone could look to their right, you'll see the famous Arlesboro Lighthouse. Now, fun fact about the lighthouse. Its original owner... Ooh, who's that engine over there? <sighs> Ballstro didn't like having to be polite all the time. Thank you for taking Bullstrode's holiday tours. Please do come again. Or not. The harbor doesn't change much. Just trying to save you money. Oh, pack it in, Bullstrode. Surely it can't be worse than carrying fish. Fish? Don't talk. You'll soon get used to it. Just say what you see. It's that simple, really. A few days later... Bullshroud was getting ready to go out on another tour of the harbour, when... Wait for me! Hurry up, sir. We're due to leave. Really, this isn't good enough. This boat is due to depart at 1pm, which is not for another 25 seconds, and... Okay, off we go! <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Do you mind, boy? That was right in my ear hole. Now, if you take a look over there, you'll see a post box, which looks like as if it could do with a lick of paint. Fun fact, the real term for a post box is pillar box. Isn't that odd? And over there we have a cat. No, no, my mistake. It's a bucket of coal. I swear I just saw it move, but it must- That little tea room over there. It looks Georgian to me. Is it Georgian? No, I think the guy that owns it is called Sebastian, not George. Oh, really? As the tour continued... My book says that Lighthouse dates back to the late 1800s. Is that true? Bullstrode began to wish... Exactly how many engines service Bluffs Cove? He was back working with the fish again. Has that church clock always been a minute and a half slow? He even began to miss the annoying little boy from his first trip. It says in my book that public house was owned originally by the third Duke of Edinburgh. It says it in your book? What are you asking me for? I don't like the tone of your voice, Barge. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Try this. Why, well, I never. In all my born days, I've never been spoken to like that. I find that hard to believe. Uh, apologize for the rude noise, Bullstrode. <sighs> Sorry. I should be expecting compensation. I've never... Of course, sir. Nice one, Bullstrode. <laughs> Thank you for taking Bullstrode's holiday tours. Any questions? Actually... We hope to see you again. What's going on now? That's the end of the tour. Oh, no it isn't. Oh, yes, yes, yes it, it is. is! I was expecting a sea and a rail tour. Ah, well, you see, our usual rail boat is out of action. Bullstrode here can't go on the railway. If you read the board, you'll see we've changed it. I can read, and I want my rail tour. But, uh, sir, look. The board says Bullstrode's Holiday Tours. Uh, by rail. And we forgot to change the board. I shall have you under the Trade Description Act of 1973. False advertising, you know. This will be your last tour. Yes, sir, you can bet your bottom oh, dollar on that. You know what this Join means, Bullstrode? Oh, no. There is absolutely no way you're... I was sitting there in the barber's chair, and then suddenly this engine... Uh, oh. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I think I've seen. To your left, you'll see All Saints Church, and if you pay careful attention, 
you'll see the jumble sale being advertised on the bulletin board it was three weeks ago. And if you look to the right, you can see two seagulls doing what? Bullstrode! Just saying what I see, Captain. Over there is a fish and chip shop. You always get a lot of them by the sea. All the fresh fish, you know. Speaking of fish, what's that horrible smell? It's probably you. Well, I never, I've never been so insulted in all my life. I've a good mind to write to. <laughs> I think you might have met your match with him, Bullstrode. Not even on my level, Byron. Uh, it's Ryan, actually. And if you look to me again, you will see a water tower which appears to have some rust setting in. <laughs> Funny thing, Rust. Oh, honestly, uh, people don't appreciate me, do they? What in the world? I think something designed to hold water would be rust, but you can never be fully sure. Uh, I think I've seen it all now. Then, a few days later... Whoa, Skiff! Where's the break on this thing? There you go, Captain Joe. Skiff's all fixed. I might have to look into getting one of these railboats myself. Certainly easier to drive than Winston. So, how was it, Bullstrode? Did you have fun? It was... okay, I guess. You like that sort of thing. Well, Mr. McCorbin will be back in a few days. You'll be able to give the fish tours of the fishing village now. <laughs> oh yeah, very funny. Now if you don't need me anymore, I'm going back to the docks for a well-earned rest. Pah, that's the model day I've had. Grumpy passengers, stupid questions. Oh, who's this engine and who's that engine? I don't know. Deep down, Bullstrode had enjoyed his days as a tour guide for the most part. But the same could not be said of everyone. Ooh, what a lovely balloon. What's your name, little boy? Ah! Don't make me go with her, Mom! Oh, come now. You'll find your journey most comfortable with my newly upholstered seating act. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Please! Save me, Byron! Ah! Oh, how rude. 